Hi folks, how's it growing? It's Tones here from Tones Backyard, and in today's episode we'll investigate a new approach to raise the pH of the aquaponic system, as well as adding essential macro and micronutrients that your plants need to grow and survive all in one. This is done by using something that is completely natural and organic, does not harm your fish or any of the bacterial colonies in your system, and best of all, you can make it yourself at home for free. It is called wood ash. As you may or may not already know, a healthy aquaponic system's pH will slowly but gradually drop over time. This is caused by the good bacterial colonies doing their job in the nitrification process where the fish waste is converted to plant food or nitrates. The pH of your aquaponic system is very important to keep an eye on and should be kept in the range of around 6.4 to 7.0, which will ensure both your plants and fish are happy and healthy. Two of the most common ways to raise pH of aquaponic water levels is by adding calcium hydroxide, which is also known as hydrated lime, or by adding potassium hydroxide, which is also known as potash. I have used both of these methods to raise my pH aquaponic water level in the past. Typically, three out of four times I use hydrated lime, and about every fourth time I use potash to raise the pH. Adding hydrated lime and potash to your aquaponic system not only buffers up the pH, it also adds important nutrients like calcium and potassium, which are important macronutrient elements for good plant health. There are quite a few elements plants need to stay in good health and grow well. It can be a bit challenging to ensure that you have all of these nutrients in your aquaponic system at appropriate levels. There are usually only a few inputs to an aquaponic system, mostly the fish food and the substances you use to bump up the pH. Also, from time to time, there may be nutrient deficiencies within the system. So occasionally it may be necessary to add these extra macro and micronutrients to your system. There are certain types of liquid fertilizers that can be purchased and safely added to aquaponic systems that increase these nutrient levels. However, these can become expensive over time. Here at Tone's Backyard, I've always been trying to find or use something natural or organic as an alternative and also hopefully fairly cheap to solve any issues around the place. So after scouring the internet for naturally occurring pH raising substances, I came across some information showing how wood ash has been used in gardening and farming practices for many years. Wood ash is used to raise the pH of soil and fertilize it as well. I then thought, if wood ash can fertilize and raise the pH of soil, then could it also do the same in an aquaponic environment? Would this affect the fish? What other nutrients does wood ash add to the system? So I did a bit more research into the different types of elements that can be found in wood ash. Now, it must be noted that not all wood ash samples are the same. What's found in any one particular sample of wood ash depends on quite a few things. So step one was to clean out the indoor fireplace and shovel all of the wood ash into a bucket. Step two then was to separate the large particles away from the fine wood ash particles. To do this, I tipped a few cupfuls of the ash into a small gauge sieve, which was positioned above a catchment container. I then gently shook the sieve until all fine particles collected in the catchment container and only large particles remained in the sieve itself. I then cleared the sieve of all larger chunkier particles and repeated the filtering process until all of the wood ash was filtered to just tiny dust particles. Step three was to use an old bucket I had and measure out 12 litres or three gallons of water from the rainwater tank in the backyard. I simply used 12 litres or three gallons because that matched the size of my bucket pretty well. Next, I took an initial pH reading of the water before adding any wood ash. The baseline pH reading of the rainwater was about 
I then wanted to see how much wood ash it would take to raise the pH of this amount of water by a few points. So I used the smallest measuring spoon I had available and measured 1 gram or 0.035 ounces of wood ash and added it to the 3 gallon bucket of water. I then mixed this to try and dissolve as much wood ash into the water as possible. After a decent mixing, I then tested the water again to see if the pH had changed at all. And as you can see here, after adding this small amount of wood ash to the 3 gallon bucket of water, the pH increased by approximately 4 points, moving up from 6.4 to 6.8. After some rough calculations and a bit of trial and error, I found that to raise my aquaponic system, which is about 3,000 litres or 750 gallons, by approximately 4 pH points, I would need to add about 250 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces of wood ash. I've only been using this method to adjust pH in my aquaponic system for about 3 to 4 months now, but the results are looking quite promising. There have been no noticeable ill effects to either the plants, fish or crayfish in the system. The fish are still going strongly, having only ever fed them things I've grown or collected from the yard, things like plant leaves that I've actually grown from the aquaponic system and hard boiled chicken eggs. I've recently grown and harvested some red cabbages and zucchinis from the grow beds. The cabbages were turned into a beautiful sauerkraut and the zucchinis were put through our spiralizer and turned into zucchini pasta. The crayfish have been surviving and growing well in their containers with their most recent diet of cabbage leaves and kale. The wood ash also has no noticeable ill effects on the nitrifying bacterial colonies in the system as the ammonia and nitrite levels have remained negligible this entire time. So in summary, I have found that it is certainly possible to use wood ash to raise the pH of water in an aquaponic system, at least in the short term. And as, and as I have mentioned, the plants, fish, crayfish and bacterial colonies all seem to be doing pretty well with wood ash in the system. So here at Tone's Backyard, I've seen enough positive results so far to pursue this further and I'm going to continue to use wood ash to regulate the pH of my aquaponic system over the next year and document the results. If this sounds like something that interests you, then if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below to catch all future updates of this wood ash experiment. Also, be sure to share this video with others in the aquaponic community if you think any of this information would benefit them. Thanks for watching.